cooking again today. It's gonna be my favorite kimchi quinoa. It's quinoa. Tricolor quinoa I got from Craft Box Store. And this is my kimchi from Gourmet Uni. So you need about half a cup lang of kimchi. Well, it depends on how intense you want it to be. Usually, ako gusto ko about 1 is to 1 ang proportion because the kimchi quinoa is already my grains and my ulam usually. I need it to be substantial. So, these are what I usually use to season what I cook. So, this is soybean paste, mild donjang. I don't know if I am pronouncing it correctly. And then, this one is mild samjang. So, the difference is this one is just soybean paste plain soybean and this one is seasoned so this is a little bit spicy a little bit more intense in flavor mas complex this one provides more umami flavor a lot ito naman more on spice a little bit of sourness so i use both i don't know why i just like the combination of both there's usually a third one that other people use it's the red one it's called gochujang that one naman like it's super intense super spicy so if you like spicy food, buy that one, use that one. Ako, I'm content with this too. This one is milder. What I'm doing right now, this is over high heat, medium to high heat. I'm just toasting the quinoa in olive oil. What I did was wash the quinoa in cold water. I just read that somewhat. <laughs> And then I let it dry a bit. I've added a little bit of olive oil just to toast the quinoa. Once I'm satisfied, siguro a few minutes lang, one minute maybe. And then after that, I'm gonna add hot water and then let this boil. I'm using the frying pan instead of the saucepan or stock pot because hindi ko mahanap yung aking saucepan and okay lang naman because small quantity lang naman yung luto in natin. Now I've turned down the heat to medium and I've added one and a half cups of water, I guess. Sorry, I don't really measure when I'm cooking savories. Now, I'm just gonna let this boil. You cook quinoa in the same manner that you cook rice. We'll just wait for it to fluff up. In case you put less water than is required, just have another cup of hot or warm water ready so that you can add more so it won't dry up and burn. This is my first time to cook tricolor quinoa. I usually cook just the white one lang yung nakasanayan ko. But if you can see, I don't know, is it claro? It's almost translucent na. So that's almost ready. Let's just wait a few more minutes or seconds. Let's see. So this is already cooked, but it has a little bit more excess water. So I'm gonna let it dry a bit over low heat. Para di naman masuno. But after this, after it has been dried, after it has dried out a bit, I'm gonna transfer it to a plate. And then I'm gonna cook the quinoa or saute the quinoa in the same pan. Heating your oil, this is medium. Just a little bit of olive oil. I prefer sesame oil but since naubusan ako, so I'm using olive oil right now. And now the kimchi is in the pan with the oil. We'll just wait for it to heat up a bit. Maliit yata yung pan ko. But this is now on medium to high heat again. I don't know if the difference is obvious but it has now become a deeper shade of red. It has become darker. What we're waiting for this to happen is for the fermentation juice or the fermented juice to evaporate and concentrate a bit. So the taste will be a bit more intense, darker, so magkaramelize din yung vegetables natin. It will take quite some time, guys. So let's just wait. But make sure to check on it or continue stirring every now and then because you don't want the bottom to be burnt. I have added the samjang and the uh, <laughs> donjang. The donjang or the soybean paste is the browner one, this one the darker one. And the samjang is the more reddish, yan, the lighter in color. So we're just gonna mix this and continue cooking. And this is what I'm saying. That is actually what I want. Pero wag naman burn, guys. <laughs> Caramelized lang. So, I'm gonna share with you some tips to adjust the flavor. So, the donjang and the samjang are mostly umami, salty, and spicy. But if you want it with a tinge of sweetness, you can add some brown sugar 
or white sugar, whatever you have. Pwede ring honey. If you want it a little bit more sour, you can add red cane vinegar, sukat tuba, or apple cider, whatever vinegar you have. Or you can also add lemon juice or calamansi para fruity yung acidity niya and the sourness. And of course, you can still add salt, pepper. Ideally, maglalagay din ako ng sesame seeds, pero tinatamad ako mag-toast ng sesame seeds. So, you can also add um, carrots, fresh cabbage, whatever you want. It is also at this point that uh, you can add like pork belly or chicken, but your meat should have already been cooked beforehand. So you can cook it in the same pan naman. Just take it out after frying it or whatever before you saute the kimchi. This is almost ready. If you do not have samjang or donjang, you can just add chili oil, whatever seasoning that you have in your pantry. So you can use whatever seasoning that you want or seasoning that you already have. Oh, this is looking and smelling really good right now. So I'll just continue on mixing this and let the kimchi be incorporated with the quinoa and the quinoa with the kimchi. Magma mind melt sala guys. Charot. <laughs> and our kimchi quinoa is now done. Yeah, it's now ready. So I'm just gonna scoop a bit of this onto my plate and then put the remaining kimchi quinoa into a container to be put in the fridge for another day. So this is good for I think at least three meals, but then up to four, depending on gano kagutom habang kumakain. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove this from the pan and then use the same pan to cook my fried egg to be prepared with the kimchi quinoa. So this is the kimchi quinoa without the egg. I just added strips of seaweed or nori on top. Ayan. The nori I got from Seoul Family Mart. These are actually sheets. I just cut them up. You can eat this this way or with meat or with ulam, whatever. But ako, I love it with egg on top. So let's cook the egg. And this is the kimchi quinoa with fried egg on top and some nori. Let's eat! why you crack an egg into a bowl first before you put it in the pan because look this is the first egg that I cracked and the yolk broke so I'm still gonna cook that later but meantime this is what I'm gonna cook first for presentation purposes 